Uh, hello, my name is Xu Wang, and this is my presentation for how to modify the power distribution in HSS to prolong the battery life of hybrid cars and reduce energy loss. And here is the outline of my presentation. There are four parts. First part, introduction of HSS system. Second part, proposal for modifying power uh, distribution. Third part, proposal arrangements. And the final part is conclusion. Okay, let's get on to the first part. Here is the introduction of HES system. HES is an abbreviation for high grade energy storage system, uh, which uses both battery and other capacitors for uh, energy storage, and it could provide a very good transient response. Here we could see from the first picture of a simplified bar diagram of the HES system. We could see both the battery and other capacitors used in the system, and the second picture is the uh, more specified structure diagram of the system. Okay, let's get on to the second part. Here is the uh, model that we use flow or flow chart we use in this proposal. Uh, we first build the mathematical model, and then we use acquired data sent into the model for calculations, and then we use the simulations to verify what, uh, whether our uh, results has improved compared with traditional results. Uh, and uh, we use the white noise uh, uh, combined with the uh, one power turbine disturbance signal uh, for simulating the real uh, signal uh, in the world. And this means the error control hour. Okay, let's get on to uh, several critical parts in our uh, proposal. And the, the first step of the uh, modeling find the mathematical model is to determine the objective function and you can see that here we uh, this is the objective function that we use in this proposal c means annual comprehensive cost c b means investment operation and the maintenance uh, cost of the hess and here the formula illustrating the components of the cb so step two is determine constraints we have to maintain the power adjustments of uh, all parts should be equal to the AC value of the system, and then we have to maintain that output power of energy storage device should be less than the rated power. Uh, the third part is about linearization. Uh, we have to uh, linearize, there are so many unlinearized parameters in the system, so we use the large M methods in MATLAB to linearize them. Uh, of the whole system, and here are the formula that we use for the linearization. Okay, let's get down to the third part, proposal arrangement. Uh, and you can see that there are several phase of, phases of this proposal. We, uh, the first part is about group discussion planning, second, search and distribution. So we conduct an analysis and design, and we uh, conduct experiments. Now, set, and then following, we uh, collect data and we uh, analyze again, and then we will make the report, and the report will be submitted for the professors and the senior engineers for review. Okay, let's get on to the final part of the conclusion. Uh, there are so many inter international benefits. First of all, the efficiency of HS will be increased dramatically, and this will reduce the cost of applications and make more profit for the company. And the second part is that the innovation will reduce the waste of materials and product environments. This is the uh, not too much batteries will be used, and the third, the innovation will reduce the size of each system and uh, it provides more chances to use them in our daily electric machine. Okay, thanks. Here is my presentation. Thanks for watching.